Hi, and welcome to Carry. My name is Candy Liu, the admissions manager at Carry. Today, we are going to take you on a virtual tour of our middle school, led by head of middle school, Mr. Michael Nelson. We hope you enjoy. Welcome. We're in the Performing Arts Centre here at Carey. Uh, this is an absolute hub for our middle school students. Our Year 7s and 8s are deeply involved in the Performing Arts. Uh, year 7 eight is a fan and 9 is a fantastic area for creativity and our musicians will use the area up in the far end of the building um, and we have a fantastic auditorium where ensembles, um, bands, orchestras um, and our drama team can perform. Uh, one of the strengths of Kerry is the, the experience is very varied. Um, we uh, have the opportunities in a co-ed environment to work together creatively to create um, material, whether that's musical or drama, um, and we see as creativity as a touchstone of the Kerry experience. Um, and we've got a beautiful and um, engaging building to take place, for that to take place in. It's really exciting. Over the next year or two, we're going to have an opportunity to be initiated into our new building. Our new building is very much designed to create um, a catalyst for a change in the way young people learn. Our middle school is a seven, eight and nine, um, and we know that young people will move through the learning journey through those middle years in, at different rates um, and with different um, insights into their own learning. And one of the things we wanted to create was a building that was flexible um, in relation to learning spaces being the catalyst for growth, academic growth, personal growth, um, pastoral growth and spiritual growth. The new building is state of the art. Um, it, as I mentioned before, is very flexible in terms of creating different size zones of learning um, and plays around the idea of integrating different elements of the learning journey for middle school, such as STEM, um, moving through the different domains of learning and then creating different learning opportunities for students to be both collaboratively and individual learners, to work one-on-one -on -one with teachers, also in a more lecture style. Uh, it has breakout spaces and pastoral spaces that are going to be both enjoyable, engaging um, and inviting. And then it also links beautifully to our house program where each student feels like they're a member of a family. The design is based around the idea of some streets um, that connect each student through the idea, the concept of a house. Um, all of our students at Kerry belong to a house and that's their family while they're here. Um, and the idea of the streets and the houses off to the side gives that sense of belonging and that, uh, that sense of space and place that's so critical for a young person to be grounded in. The Centre for Innovation and Learning behind us here is an integral part of the middle school journey through year seven, eight and nine. In the lower floor is our library and our resource centre. Uh, it moves into a second storey, which is um, really, really innovative learning spaces, multi-dimensional, multi-sized and multi-modal types of learning environments. And then up to the top in, is our UN room and our cabinet room. It's a wonderful building to teach in um, and represents a big part of what the Cary journey, learning journey is. One of the key components of the Kerry uh, learning journey is that we are very much about the whole child, um, the mind, body and spirit. Um, you'll see the oval behind us. Uh, at any given day, there are students, um, both genders, kicking footballs, hitting balls, running around, getting outside. Also on a Saturday and on a, uh, during the week we train for it is that we have an APS program um, which includes multiple sports in our summer season which is all of term one and our winter season which is term two and a small portion of term three and then we move into our spring program which is non-compulsory. Um, in both summer and winter there are multiple sports that you can participate in. Um, obviously there's the key team sports that uh, Australia is very traditionally involved in but we are very conscious that different students um, need different types of activity to engage in. The oval out here also represents the opportunity for kids to do PE and health in our broader curriculum. In middle school, uh, PE and health are central to the learning journey. Uh, our health program very much looks at the all aspects of health, both our physical, mental well-being, um, and our physical program looks at skill development as well as being active and fit. So this is another really important part of the whole child journey in the Cary Middle School learning. 
As you can see, an extension of this uh, smaller area here is that we have our bullying campus, which is about a 15 minute bus ride. All of our PE lessons take place out at Bulleen. Um, our students go out there for a double period and um, do their Bulleen um, program throughout the normal curriculum. But coupled with that is it's a wonderful venue for our APS sport. Um, on any given Saturday, um, it's a real sense of community. People come together to celebrate being active um, and celebrate the, all of the learning that takes place through a, a team um, experience, um, supporting each other, showing good sportsmanship and connecting to a sense of purpose and wonder in terms of being in physical activity. This is our magnificent uh, library um, uh, and it's a great resource for our middle school students. Um, we see literature as a cornerstone of the learning journey through year seven, eight and nine leading into our senior school. Um, the design of the library was very much as a celebration to the book and the written word. Um, students are, are often very engaged in a digital world um, and this provides an opportunity for them to uh, declutter from that in, in a online world and centre around the idea of literature and the written word. Um, pastoral care is a key component of the carey journey. We know belonging is a key protective factor for young people in relation to their own mental health, but we also know belonging is a critical part for a successful learner. We have 10 houses at Kerry and they're kind of like with a small family within a bigger family. Um, and in a large school, you need that more microcosm of a group to feel that you know everyone well and you feel that you're known well. In our houses we have mentor groups that are around 16 students to one mentor and the mentor is a staff member that deeply follows the journey of a young person through year seven, eight and nine, both academically but also uh, pastorally um, and, and also from a wellbeing perspective. Um, and they, each student feels like they're known by some, an adult in the organisation so that if anything comes up that they need support with, they can gain that support through a trusted person within the organisation. We also have a whole lot of allied health professionals around the student as well, whether that's our chaplains, um, our counselling staff, um, our learning mentors and various other people that create a, a blanket around a young person to make sure that they have all the safety nets uh, that they need in order to thrive in this environment. So the house is kind of very, very critical to um, the learning journey, both through middle school and then the students follow the same house group into senior school, but with a different mentor and another head of house. Our state-of-the-art science facility um, allows for, again, mo multimodal teaching, uh, whether it's instructional teaching in one spot here uh, and then break out into the wider space to work collaboratively with your peers. Um, we have our Bunsen burners in the more traditional science areas for our wet sciences around our chemistry and our physics experimentation. Um, we also have in the background, we have our um, science labs for the more uh, hu um, humanities type sciences like psychology. So you get that sense that this is a place of discovery, um, a place of innovation and a place of questioning. Creating questions is the secret to science um, and then developing experiments and ways to answer them. So this is a, a centre for inquiry in a big centre for learning and innovation. This is our terrific uh, United Nations room. Um, it has multi-purposes within the school. Um, you'll notice the flags over behind me represent a flag from each country. Um, and our middle school students in year eight do a program called Human Rights Convention, uh, where they explore the notion of um, Melbourne's place in the world and Australia's place in the world in relation to other international countries. Uh, we're a very outward looking school and we have connections to multiple places around the world. And we see ourselves as very much a school that has a sense of outreach and the ways that we can support the rest of the planet are really important and sometimes sitting around this table creates a, an environment where our leaders within the school, whether that's student leaders or pastoral leaders or our uh, school leaders, um, can look at Cary in relation to its place in the world and our outreach focus. Uh, one of the key components of the middle school journey is um, challenge and choice. Um, we provide a wide range of experiences for the kids. We really want them to look in their diary every morning and get excited a bit about a part of their day. Um, one of the key things that the kids love doing is their electives. Um, you can see in here, wood is a, one of our electives along with our metal um, and our design projects. 
Um, all of them incorporate the kind of design thinking elements, which is about prototyping and building and creativity and working collaboratively to design and then make something. Every student through their middle school journey gets an opportunity to use the various different uh, specialist art areas and create maker spaces to um, build 3D models and, and conceptual understandings um, using their hands as well as their brains. Uh, in keeping with our holistic uh, teaching model, um, all our students get an opportunity to be involved in all of the arts. Uh, we spoke earlier about the performing arts, but also the creative arts and the fine arts. Uh, we have state-of-the-art facilities, both gallery spaces and creative maker spaces, and we encourage students to use a wide range of mediums. Um, our creativity is the centre stone, I guess, of learning, um, and at Kerry we really endorse kids to be creative, to work collaborative, and work with mentors in learning spaces with our artists in residence to create works um, that are end products in themselves, but it's usually the design process along with the journey that's as much a part of the journey as the product uh, and students very much enjoy looking in their diary every morning and seeing something that they are passionate about something that they like to create with as few boundaries as possible but with the skills and techniques to get the most out of each learning experience. A key component of our virtual tour is that you've seen all aspects of the Kerry journey. Um, one of the really critical parts is that we see each student as an individual learning within a broader organisation that centres around the care and the individuality of the child but also understand our place in the world and in our community. Our spiritual dimension is an important part of that journey. Our Baptist ethos and the centre around outreach and how we provide for each other and how we look out for each other is a key component of that journey. So in to sum up our idea around engagement, connection, belonging, um, being who you can be and being the best you can be in the culture of giving and forgiving is a really central tenant to the Kerry learning journey in middle school.